Oh, we're going way back. IQ Season 3, Episode 7. Oh, this is going to hit me right in the heartstrings, isn't it? Going back to the Senpai. Oh, look at Daichi. A long held dream. Maybe about to come true. Maybe. They were coachless. Man, they did this all this basically on their own. Built the foundation by themselves, despite loss after loss. And they never stopped believing. That's the senpai legacy. And here they are in the finals. Freaking Daichi, man. <laughs> Daichi. Not to take anything away from the other senpai. But I don't know. I feel like he, he was sort of the cornerstone emotionally. But they're also there. They're all still here. Even after flirting with leaving, they stuck it out. That's not easy. Anyone can stay on a team and enjoy something when you're winning, when things are going well. Who sticks with something that long and that dedicatedly fights that hard when you're the fallen crows, when everyone's laughing at you and you can't get a win? They didn't even make it to any kind of tournament play, did they? Until this year? That's, I don't know what that is. That's something. It's special. Episode 6, the chemical change of encounters. Just sticking with this flashback. wonder how this will play into the, the match at hand. <laughs> Turns out a lot of volleyball is networking. Oh, that's gotta be so demoralizing. I like actually joined this team after watching them be so great. Everyone seems to have just given up. And he's a freshman, so he can't really, you know, like assert his weight. <laughs> that was such a Daichi metaphor. Always speaking up. Even though they can't see it yet, this is the changing of the tide. This is the beginning. <laughs> He's always been out of his ears. Yes and no. What was I saying about Daichi being the cornerstone? Man, this is really their legacy. They love it. Right. You can imagine a scenario where that's just the end of the volleyball team for Karasuno. Like, who keeps it going? It's a little bit of hope kept them going. Little did they know. Here we are. Man, if only in real life you could see time the way you can in anime flashbacks. We get the benefit of having it spliced together like that in a way that is super great. In life, you know, <laughs> because time happens so slowly and linear linearly, the reality for Daichi and Sugiwara and Asahi is just loss and doubt for years with no guarantee that it will ever mean anything. A lot of really big things take time. And I think three years is normal, maybe even fast. Five years is normal. Ten years even for really big things is normal. I don't even think it's that people aren't capable of doing great things. I think a lot of it is just the understanding time obstacle fighting the need for instant gratification. Unless you just are someone with iron will discipline, which I think is really rare and hard to cultivate, there's gotta be something about the process itself that gives a reward feedback loop, even if it doesn't materialize into the end goal. I think for a lot of these players, it's the love of the game. Also the fact that with every game, with every trial, they can see hope, you know, they can see a, an obstacle that they can overcome. Like just there with that lost date, she said, we just didn't practice together enough. We're not cohesive enough. So there's something to work on. And if that feels good, it can be enough to keep you going. I would say that there are two things in my life that I love that required delayed gratification. One of them is YouTube. I think it took me two or maybe even three years to make YouTube into anything more than just kind of a pastime and trying to create a passive income stream through stocks. Starting, it was, it just seemed impossible. You know, it's just chipping away small deposits now and then. That's been like eight years. For both of those things, the common element was I loved either the feeling of chipping away or the little progresses I could see, or certain elements of the work itself. And it's pretty amazing what you can accomplish if you can either find a way to make those obstacles enjoyable, or the process enjoyable, or just grit through that pain of the limbo, the slow, steady climb. And here we are, back to the present. Everything he's worked for. Yeah, it's a great weapon. In an even game, it could be everything. God, he's just, just putting everything on the line. Yeah, not making that possible. And it's still a team effort. It's not just not a dominating. 
<laughs> Taishi just looks like he's having fun, you know, despite all this, all this pressure, all this build up, all the flashbacks. He's just alive. This is what he's wanted. He read it. But it wasn't enough. They're fighting. Yeah, like I said, I think last episode. I, I don't know, I trust in Inata's stamina. I don't think he has a limit. <laughs> Why was that so terrifying? Oh, they're competing a little bit, though. They're competing a little bit. Ooh, they're not a challenge. Okay. Oh, yeah, maybe you didn't see that arc. <laughs> I know, he's just riling everyone up. It's great. It's energy leader right now. We got our pinch server in. This could be great. It wasn't that much last time. Let's do what you do best. Do the little sway thing. It's wannabe ace. One touch. Look okay, at it's time to curse on his way down. Yeah, why does Suki look so terrifying there? Looks gigantic. <laughs> that challenge really worked. Hmm? Oh, oh my god, it's so close. So close. But so far. He's starting to lose it. Wow, that's some really articulate coaching. Something about elbows. Why does he look like a villain and sound like a villain? Oh, oh, why was that so cold-blooded? Something about Ushiwaka. <laughs> He's just <laughs> terrifying. This would be a great time for a serving streak. Again, this is something that's been built really, really masterfully. There it is, a spinny thing. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna happen now and then. Just gotta account for that. Ushiwaka also, I wouldn't, I don't know. I feel like he'll, he'll dig deep. I wouldn't count on that. Wait, was that intentional? Like, that was a crazy ass save. Look at Tsuki with the Hinata like move, putting everything on the line himself. Oh my god, <laughs> the last point, that point is so terrifying. That's true, Kagam has been sort of an unsung hero of this match himself. Not a lot of like spotlight or focus, but he's been killing it. Oh, this last point though. This last point. Couldn't it just be easy for once? Couldn't we just get this point in a breeze? We gotta tie it up again. My heart, man, my heart can barely take it. Oh no, for Mushiwaka, no less. <laughs> The dump, it's dumping all of you, all of you. Right, they took that step back. And they read it and adjusted. Ah, uh, why? We were right there. And here comes the taunting. I also believe in his ability to dig deep. I believe in all their ability to dig deep, come to think of it. Yeah, they are monsters. Then again, so is Shiro Torizawa. Or at least Ushiwaka. Oh! I got it. Up by one. Tied! <laughs> always goes this way. Why does it always go this way? The tension. Oh, and Ushiwaka's serving. We've been here before, yeah. We, this is nothing new. We had Oikawa in the same position, same situation. Oh, are they all the way back? Did he do that intentionally? And I'll bet he shines in these moments, too. I'll bet he's so good in these moments. Oh, look at Daichi. Such a great Daichi metaphor again. Nishinoi's got this. He's got it. Oh my god. Let's go back to Ushiwaka again. Or not. That was lucky. Oh, yes. Oh, thank god. And now... We did all that to tie it up. Two points. Two points. Two points. Same, honestly. Please tell me more about how this is nothing. Yeah, he's all into it. Oh, we've... We've converted him. We have a believer. He was afraid to believe before. They've given him hope. Just like me. <laughs> I was afraid to believe. Now, don't do it for that guy. I don't care about that guy. Do it for us. Let's get a cheer going. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're organized. Okay. 
Okay, all right, here we go. Nice to read from Sugiwara. Let the guy play. I'm loving this Kagama spotlight this episode. Classic Kagama Hin Hinata. Quick. That'll get it. He's got it. And Okai's here to watch this, too. A classic Hinata move. The randomness. He hit it left. Didn't read that one, did you? Oh, did we just win the set? <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god, it's all tied up at two sets apiece. Final set. Oh no, this is not it. This is not the way. That's a crack. Yeah, and your, all your faces. Your well-organized, co cohesive faces. Oh, he, we've never been closer to glory. All these years later. Such a good choice flashing back to the beginning for Daichi in this episode. My dude's focused. No, no, this is intensity. Let him do it. Still on the court. Winner gets to stay. Winner stays on the court. <laughs> Damn, that was great. That was so, so satisfying. I can't believe how far we've come. This season is short, but it's been so great already and what it's able, been able to do. We've had basically everyone play a really important key role. You get the feeling they're all doing their best, but it like rotates around on who it's focusing most on. This episode, we got both Daichi and Kagayama. This is another show in the list of great shows I've watched where I feel a certain thing, I go in a certain emotional direction, and then it turns out that the show is deliberately setting that up in ways that I didn't even fully expect. Like, how long have I been talking about Daichi and the senpai and wanting them to get a win? And here, they made that very explicitly clear. That's super important. In fact, in ways I kind of underestimated it. This episode brings to mind not just how much I like the senpai and how much I want to see a victory for them and for their efforts, but how much they suffered from their freshman year until now. How they kept going despite having really no assurances or no chance at any kind of championship. How their belief and dedication and discipline drive set the stage for the team to exist in the state it exists for Hinata and Kageyama and Suki to show up and add that missing piece. Hinata and Kageyama are great talents but you get the feeling that they're really nothing without the backbone of the team. In fact, to a large degree, it seems like this tournament is exploring that very idea where Ushiwaka is kind of the, the great talent, the once in a generation talent, but what gives Karasuno a fighting chance is their adaptability and their heart and their cohesion as a, as a full team.